Hey guys, uh, my name is Greg, I come from BrightSource. Uh, I was asked to give this sh really short talk like this morning, okay? So pardon me and I hope I don't get stoned after I present this. Uh, but uh, as I said throughout the lectures in the conference, I thought that we should discuss this, okay? So C++ is not a hammer, okay? The question I want to ask is, when do we see plus plus? And I came up with several bullets while sitting in the lectures, and uh, basically they are, anybody? Why do we do C++? Yes, what is the model of C++? Uh, do not, we do not pay for what we do not need or do not use, so all C++ has to do with performance, with squeezing extra uh, operations out of every machine cycle. Uh, we also have several uh, additional reasons to do C++. We have com dedicated compilers for dedicated embedded or not embedded hardware. Uh, we have limited hardware, which needs to be very resource uh, friendly, let's say. Uh, the entire world is built on top of C++ or on top of C slash C++ if there is such thing. <laughs> after this lecture, uh, but all the APIs, the OS APIs, everything is built on top of C, C++. Uh, is C++ a cross-platform language? Yes, it claims to be if you have a compiler, and if you have a compiler that supports the C++ 11 and the 14 and the 17 and the 20 feature, oh, and the STL is not compiling, and there is a bug in that version of Boost which you need but you can't have, so it's partially, it is, uh, it claims to be, but it's to some level. And one last bullet, we need to be sure we're not obsessed with doing C, C++ just because we know it, okay? We need to uh, pick up the right tool. So this is why you might stone me, okay? So we need to know when not to C++, okay? There are cases where we, I think, okay, that's a personal uh, opinion. I think that in some cases, we need to know to stay away from C++. If your job is to count the number of lines in a file, what are you gonna do? Python. Thank you, Python, or just WC minus L, that's it. Okay, that's the task. No need to open the streams, no need to get lines, no need to do uh, core routines or whatever, just pick up the right tool for the job, okay? So when do we, uh, when I think we do not need the uh, extras of C++, uh, productivity is very important, okay? W uh, we get paid a lot for our time and uh, we would like to use it to the best of our ability to, uh, to add the most value. And if we are able to uh, deliver more value in the same amount of time, I think it's sometimes worth it, and if we can do it better in Python, or in Java, or in JavaScript, or God forbid, Go, or Erlang, or whatever, then it, probably that's what we should do. Uh, also, there are cases where we are allowed to buy extra hardware. That's also okay. The extra hardware costs, let's say, tens of thousands of dollars. Our salary uh, is usually higher than that, okay, over a course of a year or a month or uh, some of us maybe are getting more than that. But, uh, but it is okay to get, okay, uh, in order to do this task fast, you want to achieve it fast, so let's buy better hardware. That's sometimes an option. Not every time, sometimes it is. Uh, when you have scripting like tasks, IT world, uh, anybody deals with IT? Have you heard of a C++ IT tool? Like let's do a, uh, I don't know, a WMI query in C++ to get some performance counters out of Windows or off a switch or, uh, y there, is, there is one? So, so, so there are tools, there are tools, but it's, it comes, comes off weird, right? It is not native. Or uh, when you need to, uh, I don't know, create a site for the conference, you're not gonna go to C++ uh, as a first, uh, solution, okay? Uh, lots of our applications 
are I.O. bound, okay? So we need to read a lot of data from a, a DB, a disk, a network, and our time is spent there. And we optimized our regular expressions up to the very end, but it doesn't make a difference, okay? So think about it. Uh, you're creating UI applications, okay? Who has written a UI in C++? Was it fun? Thank you. Job security is a good answer. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, mm? yeah th there are tools. There, there is QT, you're right. It is not, not possible. It is possible, definitely possible. But it wouldn't be my first choice of a platform, okay? If I need to do some sort of a basic uh, client-side application, I would not go to C++. Um, one of the major problems uh, that I believe in C++ is the lack of uh, the library. It's not exactly the standard library, but the other library. If you want to do some advanced algorithms, then you need to get, oh, you need to get Boost, we need to get OpenCV, we need to get TBB, IPP, whatever. Lots of lots of libraries that we use everywhere, and they are hard to get, and we need to get them for our platform and for our needs. So the library is uh, somewhat limited. If you need to do some signal processing, uh, and C++ seems like a good choice, but maybe Python has uh, the libraries all written out for you and you can use uh, NumPy or whatever to get the job done quick, it is a good solution. Okay, so there are lots of those here. Okay, and I, I have just taken this from uh, the GitHub popularity of languages. I do not know how to measure this. This is uh, difficult. But, but just so you see, there are, uh, the, the list goes on. I cut it over there. Uh, you got lots of languages that you can use, which are great languages. And uh, just uh, remember this. Anything? OK, thank you.